Welcome back friends and hopefully you can see my milk nails. Okay, so this is my first time trying the milk nail design. Um, take some light off just so you can see the fruit in there. Um, so what they don't tell you about the milk nail design is this is harder than I thought. I watched a couple of videos, YouTube videos. I saw how they did it. It's not really that hard doing it. Um, but it's kind of hard to get the fruit to stick at first. I had to glue the fruit down first and then to put the acrylic on top. I didn't want to put too much acrylic on top because I'm going to have to drill all this stuff off, number one. Um, when you're doing a full set on a person that doesn't wear their regular nails all the time, you can just soak them off. But for me, when I get ready to change this, I'm going to have to drill all of this off. So you may see the, the milk nails more than one time because I may not drill it all out the first time or I may drill it all out the first time. I haven't decided. Um, another thing is, and I did just glitter on the pinky and thumbs. I didn't want to do them all in milk nails because, like I said, this is my first go around with the milk nails and I'm going to have to drill it off. So the second thing is... Um, if my nails don't last more than two weeks this time, then I'm going to go back to the Chinese people for my fills and just do the designs myself. So lately I've been getting right at two weeks and then I've been having lifting. Uh, I have been doing everything that I'm supposed to do, so I'm not really sure what the problem is. I have my dehydrator. I'm priming twice. I'm making sure there's no oil on the nails. I'm filing around the cuticles. It could be the product. I don't know. It could be my primer, too. I'm using the Bond. It's a primer I got off of Amazon called Bond something. So it could be the primer that I'm using. Also, Mia Secret. I love their um, powder, but their liquid, their monomer, to powder is very runny and I've heard other people say this too it's very watery and I'm not sure no matter how much you wipe your brush off or what you do it's hard to get it from being watery and that could be a problem too I may need to try a different monomer so I may need to try a different primer and I may need to try a different monomer um, I, I went to school for nails it's been years but I'm trying to figure out why I can't get these nails to go at least three weeks I did talk to my um, nail girl from Georgia, the one that used to do my nails up there, and she did give me some tips, which was the same tips. Make sure your cuticles are not oily, which I know. Um, make sure you dehydrate your nails. Make sure you prime. So this time I did a dehydrator. I primed them twice. Um, I tried to keep my liquid to powder ratio as small as I could and not as runny but I think it's the Mia Secrets I don't think it's me like I said I've heard before that Mia Secrets um it's very um runny like no matter what ball you get it's a runny ball uh bead to go on the nails so we're gonna see how this works I also next time may order a different monitor and see if that's better um, I also have two or three different brushes. I've tried two of my brushes. I may um, try my third brush. The brush could be too big for my nails, too big for the bead that I'm trying to do. It's all a process, and it's all a learning process. Anybody can do nails, but they need to be done right and properly. And I also don't want to have a problem with lifting because I don't want to get water mold or fungus up underneath my nail. So the application... Is more important to me than the design the application needs to be on point because I need to be able to type I type all day I need to be able to type I need to be able to move a box I need to be able to open my register I need to be able to count my money I need to be able to wash dishes I need to be able to clean my house so I can't have the weakness and the lifting in them so if I can't get it right by the next time um, then I'm going to go back to the Chinese people for my fills and I'll just do the designs myself. Um, because they were only charging me $30 for my fills and I was only going once a month. So that's not bad, $30 a month. And then I can do the designs myself. Where their prices get steep is when you start getting designs because they charge extra for gel polish, extra for this, extra for that, extra for that. Why are you charging me extra for polish? Like... 
polish or gel polish. It shouldn't be extra, but it's the way of the world and it's a way to make money. So I'm not going to knock it. Also, um, if you haven't noticed, this is my first time in a long time without any stones. I caught hell trying to get them stones off. Let me tell y'all something. If you do your nails and you want to put stones on, you need to go to Sally's or somewhere and get the brush on gel reason. The brush on gel reason, I could not get those darn stones off. That was the hardest part. So if you want to put stones on and you want them to last, the brush on gel reason, <laughs> put that on and then put the stones on and you are good. I don't care if you wash dishes, I don't care if you type, I don't care what you do. I put it on and then I put them under the LED lamp for 30 seconds. And let me tell you something. Oh my God, maybe it's the LED lamp, but them things don't come off. But so here are my nails, hopefully for the next three weeks. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they last. I also want to thank Nunu the Hair Diva. She sent me this polish right here, the, the pink gel polish. And she also sent me some trinkets. She sent me some polishes because I was about ready to just give up on it all. I really was. Um, between the designs and between not being able to get it, the application to last, I was about ready to give up. Because I'm like, I used to do nails before. It's no reason why my nails, I should need to fill in two weeks. It's, it's no reason. Maybe they're making the product different. But I've been to girls before where I haven't had to get a fill for at least three weeks. So, And they have given me advice and I appreciate them too for giving me advice. Because I'm like, what am I missing? What am I missing? And so I've been following their advice, especially this time. So if they, if I find that I need to fill at two weeks again this time or one of them lifts, then I'm going to switch my primer, which I hate to do because I got a whole bottle of primer. Um, and I'm going to switch my monomer. So we shall see. But these are the beauties. And these are my milk nail design. This is my first time doing it. I don't claim to be an expert at what I do. But this is my first time doing the milk design. And I like them. I think I did pretty good. Pretty good. I like them very, very much. I am, I am, if you can't hear it in my voice this time, I am super satisfied with my nails this time. I am definitely satisfied. Once again, thank you, Nunu the Hair Diva. If you're not following her, you don't know what you're missing. A wonderful person. Go follow Nunu the Hair Diva. And... I'll see you guys in the next review. Also, anyone that has any tips for me as far as the nail application or getting into last, please put it down below. You know I respond. You know I comment back. I do read your comments. So let a girl know. See you next time.